Welcome, Internet. Are you ready to get injected? <laughs> The day has finally come here on the Jeep Sheep TV channel and Bread to Love partnership. We are installing an EFI kit in the ambulance. This is the Edelbrock Pro Flow 4 EFI system. The latest version features fully sequential port injection using a phone Android app to tune it. Direct driving of the coil, no CDI box necessary. Comes with a seven inch tablet and best part is designed and assembled in the USA. So this is going to be a great unboxing video. You're going to see exactly what comes in the kit. All the hardware, wire looms, gaskets, everything that comes in the kit. We're going to look at that. Plus, you're going to need a fuel management and delivery system. So this is what we got going on over here. So the main parts of the system, obviously, we have a high pressure fuel pump right here. And that's going to be delivering our fuel at 43 PSI to the fuel rails. We have new fuel lines. A fuel pump block off plate because the ambulance right now has a mechanical fuel pump bolted to the engine. That's the OEM carburetor fuel delivery system. So we're going to be removing that and blocking it off. And then we have our post and pre filters and then a fuel pressure regulator up there. Now we have a few odds and ends. We have a oil pump primer over there to align our distributor when we do that. And then we have some vacuum line get everything plumbed up. We got T's, various fittings, new thermostat, because why not? We're gonna be pulling off the old one anyway. Hose cutter, and then of course, the EFI system itself. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So first off, you're gonna notice it comes in this massive box. Like here's my entire arm. This thing is crazy big. It's at least like three feet by three and a half feet. It is a massive box that this comes in. So let's pull. The top off. So this is what it looks like inside. Comes with your manifold, pre-assembled, everything already on it, injectors, fuel rails, temperature sensors, map sensors, TPS switch, everything's installed. Got the gasket on there. And then you got this 4150 style four barrel air intake with quad butterfly valves. Pretty awesome. Then you have your tablet right here, your ECU, and then all the other bits and goodies are down here. So stash in the box, first you're gonna find your instructions here. Nice printed color manual, goes through all the steps necessary to install this guy. It's got wiring diagrams, bunch of cool stuff in there. Just lets you know exactly what you're getting into. Even harness pictures, which is really nice too, and where they all go. That's pretty awesome. And you have a quick start guide right here. Tells you how to set it up once you've got it done. And really cool is they have a quality control checklist telling you exactly what's in it, that it was checked, and then it was signed off. So that's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and pull this side of the box off. Obviously you have your tablet and your EC right here. And then those are gonna be on the underside like this. ECU's down here, kind of fell out. So here's your ECU, got a nice Connector pin right there. It says Edelbrock EFI systems on it. Very cool. And it's got two mounting locations with rubber grommets. And it is fully waterproof too with that epoxy seal. So very nice there. And then additionally, it comes with a 7 inch tablet. This is an Acer Iconia 1.7. And it is preloaded from the factory with the eTuner app. And then this is going to be sitting in the ambulance full time as a dashboard display, which I think is really cool. And it'll have 12 volt hardline power to it. And we'll probably mount it somewhere up near the ceiling so you can look up at it and monitor your vitals. We'll show you more about that later. All right, and then on this side, ton of features. So we got new performance intake gaskets. These are nice Edelbrock brand, of course. And then this is really cool. We got a pretty much factory looking OEM wire loom. It's got all the connections already pre-made. Everything's labeled on it. And this just makes the installation 
will make it go a lot easier. Let's open this guy up and look at it. So, in the large bag, you have zip ties for insulation. Then you have this little goodie bag here. It comes with a oxygen sensor with grommet, 12 volt USB power cable. You got your leads, you got a micro USB, throttle return spring, throttle plate. So there's a close up of the oxygen sensor right there. Pre made connections, it's got loom already on it. Very nice. This is for the tablet. You have a 120 volt to USB, and then you also have a 12 volt to USB. And then some various bits and ends. You have, it comes with a O2 sensor weld bung, as well as a plug, uh, various adapters. There's your throttle return spring, vacuum line, connector, bits like that. And then lastly, you have another temperature sensor. I believe this is the air charge temperature sensor with a grommet and then connector and USB cable. So we'll go through more of this in detail later in future, the upcoming EFI swap videos. Obviously this is part one, unboxing it, but we'll go through it more later on and in detail. But here's one of the main harnesses. As you can see, all pre-made connectors and you can see they're labeled right there. Really dope. So we'll go through that later, but this is one of the main harnesses. And you have another harness right here. This looks like injectors and temperature sensors and all sorts of sensors right here. Again, all pre-made connectors, very nicely done. And then what's really cool is they even give you a connector to wire in your fan, cooling fan. So if you have electric cooling fans, you can have the ECU of the Edelbrock EFI actually turn them on and off with coolant temperature through the computer system, which is really cool. And you can set what temperature you want them to turn on and off at. You can even, if you have two, you can stagger them. So one turns on a colder temperature and then one turns on at a hotter temperature. So you have a staggered cooling. So you're not always drawing a ton of amps, which is really cool. That's the main harness system right there. And then in this black box right here, we have the distributor and this is an EFI ProFlow 4 specific distributor. It plugs directly into the ECU right here. So that's really awesome. You got your pre-made connection right there. And then of course it's your standard V8 small block Chevy distributor. And you can turn it to adjust the timing. So that's really dope. And then you have a cap with a gasket and hardware. So let's get to the part that everyone's been waiting for, obviously. And this here is the cast aluminum custom throttle body and fuel injector rail intake manifold. This is really nicely done, very well machined. You can see all the machine surfaces. This is extruded aluminum right here, it's very smooth. And then you have this 4150 style quad barrel intake which is really cool. And then they have pre-installed sensors, like I said. You have your MAP sensor, your IAC, fuel pressure, throttle position, coolant, and then we have air too. So very inclusive system. So this is what it looks like, kind of up close. You can see down into the throttle body, it's got the quad butterfly valves, opens all four up like that, really cool. Kind of like a standard quadra jet. We have it on right now, but this is not gummy and full of grease, so that's pretty awesome. On the sides of those injectors, that means they are the 25, 29 pounds per hour fuel injectors, and this is capable of producing up to 550 horsepower out of a Chevrolet small block V8. So here is the bottom of it. You can see the really nicely machined surfaces, and then the air intake ports. And you can see the fuel injector holes to where the fuel is sprayed in. And that's gonna give us a lot more control for MPG emissions. And as you probably noticed, this is very reminiscent of a OEM style intake manifold. The fitment is pretty much all the same. All the bolt holes line up. No real modification necessary. Obviously the top end is very different, especially with these intake runners. You don't see these on stock intake manifolds for small block Chevy, but yeah, it's very, very well done. Looks amazing. And I'm sure it's going to perform amazing too. And this 
quad barrel, 4150. Throttle body is capable of sucking in 1,000 cubic feet per minute at wide open throttle. And as you probably saw down in there, there's a ton of space inside the throttle body for air to flow through. And then obviously you have your eight sequential port injected fuel injectors. If you're looking to get one of these kits yourself, they're actually not terribly expensive. We picked this guy up for just under $1,800. And I know that sounds like a lot, but compared to other systems out there and for what you get, obviously, as you just saw, pretty fair price point, we think. I mean, you get the instruction manual, all pre-made harnesses, O2 sensors, this very nicely machined intake manifold that is pre-assembled with the throttle body, fuel injectors, all that. It is a steep investment, but once you get into it, it's going to be well worth it in MPGs, emissions, power, tunability. And later on in the series, you're going to see us install this, run it, tune it. It's going to be super dope. We'll put a link down in the description for this kit if you want to purchase it and, it, and maybe other similar kits too. There's this traditional intake style for the ProFlow 4, and then they have it, what is called an XT version, which is the, the long straight channel that runs parallel to the longer side of the intake manifold. And it has a circular intake that is facing out this way. And it's a 90 millimeter opening with a large butterfly valve, kind of more reminiscent of a race style intake manifold. And that's also an option too. We decided to go with the traditional, fits the engine better, and it's just gonna work out better for us since this is a relatively old small block. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to check out the upcoming EFI swap videos. We're gonna be taking this entire kit and we're gonna be swapping it into a 1978 Chevrolet G30 ambulance, which is carbureted with a Quadrajet four barrel carburetor currently. In the series, you're gonna see us install this Go through all the necessary modifications like the fuel delivery system, removing the old fuel pump, removing the intake manifold, linkages, all that, and then getting this guy popped down there and fit up right. So stay tuned for that. You're definitely not going to want to miss this. It's going to be dope. Again, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.